So, welcome guys. Today I'm going to show you how to make first person animations in Unreal Engine. Uh, I can show you a quick example. So this is a project for me and uh, yeah, I've animated some weapons and some scopes and another weapon. You can shoot it and switch the scopes and everything can attach a silencer or a grip and everything is just fine or I have a, a revolver here also you can load the revolver and so today I'm gonna show you how to make a pistol we start with the pistol and the basics so let's start and in this episode we only will rig the m weapon so the pistol start with a pistol and we can in future parts we can add a assault rifle or a knife everything we want so let's start and search for pistol model free download so I'm not a good um, model designer also you can uh, make your own models but I don't show you this in this episode because I'm not good at it, so I just grab a free model from Sketchfab or something. I really like Sketchfab, so it's a big uh, website where you can find many, many models. I think I start with the Desert Eagle. <coughs> he said uh, a free and powerful handgun for your game, so. I think he's good with it when we use it in our game, so um, just take a look that you don't get in any trouble when you use some uh, models from other persons. So I go to my desktop and I create a new folder and I co call this folder um, FPS Tutorial. So let's jump right in create a new folder and call it a weapon another folder and desert eagle and let's save it there and let's open it so desktop weapon desert eagle here it is and then we go into blender create a new blender file press a and delete go to units Set the unit scale to 0 0.01 and activate separate units. Then let's save it under weapon desert eagle and call it sk underscore desert eagle. So in future parts uh, we will uh, make animations for the for the weapon. We will add scopes, silencer, weapon skins, everything you want. You can also write some ideas in the description so I can add them to the episodes and let's start press file import glb and your desert eagle so I just uh, scale it down because it's very very big scale it down to 0 0.01 so here it is and it has many 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 plane axes here so how do we delete those plane axes? Just go ahead and press A to select everything and then Control and A to apply all transforms. So now you can basically delete those plane axes. Make sure you don't delete uh, any of these mesh meshes. Like me. <laughs> and just delete those plane axes. So we want only want to have those uh, meshes left. Like this. So no plane axis is here. So these are all the models. Now we don't want to join them into one single we just um, group some of them so 
I just grab this and we want to create first a base. So I grab this, this, this little dot here is on the other side and this, the nails, what the scrubs, I don't know what this is. Uh, for the hand, this little thing. And okay, I think that is everything. Just uh, press Ctrl and J. So we have here a single mesh for those. Uh, with the bullet, I'm gonna join. I'm gonna join the bullet. And now the slide. Ah, okay. The slide is only this part, I think. Yeah. So we move it to this side. This is our slide. Pull back to reload. So I'm gonna grab the slide, press shift and select the other meshes I want to add. Don't add the hammer because uh, we want to animate it itself. Alright. The those little things that I think oh there's a lot in there we can't see so I'm gonna select the slide and press H to hide it and the other thing again the base so we only have those weird things left and this little thing the hammer so let's press alt and h to unhide it i just grab this and put it to our base with ctrl and j to join it and then i'm gonna hide the slide grab this and join it to the front slide I guess and this to the base so now when we hide this and this we only have the magazine and this weird thing left what the fuck are you okay just to the base with you okay alright this is I don't know you're part of yeah you are part of the sl front slide thing I guess so join them together alright and when we hide this we have the hammer oh this is also no so this little part and the slide join uh, height and height so we only have the magazine the trigger and the hammer and this bullet left so let's enable snapping and move the bullet into the magazine okay yeah looks it looks okay so now um, we unhide everything and we just have those few meshes left so this 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 and this what is this oh the magazine has multiple multiple models so select everything of the magazine, join them together, and now we rename it. So I'm gonna rename it Desert Eagle underscore underscore slide. This is Desert Eagle underscore bullet. Desert Eagle underscore front slide desert eagle underscore base 
Desert Eagle underscore uh, Hammer. Desert Eagle Magazine. And Desert Eagle Trigger. So we have only those few models left. <coughs> so now we go ahead, select everything and enable snapping and bring it into a base pose like so, it's in the middle and then select everything again press object, set origin to 3D cursor and also another one, Control and A, all transforms to make sure everything is fine so um, now we can create um, now we can create the bones, so just press Shift and A to add something and we go to Amateur and Single Bone. I just rename the Amateur to Desert Eagle and go to Viewport Display and put it in front. And I'm going to scale it a bit up. Get it a bit up, so go into edit mode and then go to the top of it, press E to extrude, extrude it a bit, then select the bone, press Alt and P and select disconnect bone. So now we can create the trigger. So just move it here and make sure in post mode it will rotate on this bigger point so now we go ahead with the hammer so shift and D to copy it duplicate it and uh, put it here so the rotation point is on this point where this bigger thing is so uh, shift D, put it here to the slide, uh, shift D, put it here to the magazine, I don't know to put it here, here for the magazine, and it's enable wireframe, another shift D, and here's, here you can see the bullet, so I'm gonna put it here for the bullet. So now let's rename everything, go here to bone and rename this bone to trigger, this bone to magazine, this bone to slide, this bone to a bullet and this to hammer. Save everything and now we can select our models and then the amateur then press ctrl and p with the empty groups and now um, you can see when we rotate it nothing will work because we have to set up the vertex groups for each model so for the trigger you go into edit mode go to vertex tab and go to trigger press a to select everything uh, press onto trigger and press assign Now we go to the next part to the slide go into edit mode press A to select everything go to slide assign the hammer do everything again and put it to the hammer the magazine select everything assign and I think the bullet so select everything, bullet, assign. We forgot a bone, the base bone. We rename it to base. And then grab the base, select everything, assign. Oh, everything, assign. And now when we go into, when we click on our amateur, press control and tab to go into a post mode. Now we can rotate the trigger, rotate the magazine, rotate the hammer, 
move the slide, move the base, and everything will move with it. But one thing doesn't work, I think I uh, did something wrong because the bullet won't work. So make sure everything is selected, bullet assign, amateur again. Did it work? Yeah. And now we can see when we rotate, so when we grab the base mesh, only the front side uh, won't move with it. So I think let's add the front slide to the base. Like this. And now when we move the base, everything will move with it. And we can also just move those little parts. So now uh, I will do a little, little thing to the end. I select the bone for the bullet and go into a bone constraint and add a bone constraint called child of and then select the armature and the bone will be magazine. Now set inverse and now the bullet will move with the magazine width. All right, this will, oh, well we can see a little thing. When we move the base, the bullet will be a little weird, but it's not that uh, important, but because we only will move the whole armature and not uh, the bone itself. All right, so we can also apply the material to it. it. Looks very, very decent. So now we create a Unreal Engine project and import our weapon there and look that everything looks fine. Create some uh, blueprint cr uh, class, a base class for the weapons. And in the next part, we will animate it. So go into Unreal Engine. Like so. And click on games and first person. I'm going to name my project FPS tutorial. And the project location will be a desktop FPS tutorial and create. All right. Just wait a few minutes. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do the photo structure in it and everything. So level prototype, oh, we need this. We can delete the FP weapon, we don't need it. It's from the template and it's in its shit. Yeah, it's, it's very, it's very, it's not that good. So, um... Also, we can delete the first person folder. Oh no, we can't delete it because we are, let's delete the blueprints folder because we don't need this. Let's move the first person arms into the first person folder and the starter content into here. And also the level prototyping. All right, now everything is in this folder. Let's rename this folder to FPS tutorial. Oh, okay, all right. So 
Go to first person. Oh, I don't know, let's delete this folder. Go to first person and create a new folder and call it blueprints. I just create a new folder called Nash and here are the first person arms in it. And the maps, I just do the level prototyping and starter content. Oh no, the starter content will be here. So let's go into Blender, press A to select everything, go to File, Export, FBX, and then SK Desert Eagle. Only select objects, geometry, we do smoothing on edge. On armature, we untick add leaf bones and we untick bake animations. So export it, go into Unreal, creating a folder called weapons, creating a folder called mesh, creating a folder called desert eagle. And import the SK Desert Eagle. Import all. Close this tab. And here's our Desert Eagle. Looks pretty decent, but we don't have the uh, textures we had in Blender. But let's have a quick watch at the at the bones. So. Everything should work. Alright, so let's go back into Blender, save everything. So go back into Blender, then click on your models and go into the shading tab. So we have ooh, we have a few materials. Let's watch an Unreal have bullet 001, magazine 001, main body 001 and slide. So let's start with the bullet. So this bullet zero zero one. Uh, yeah. Click it. Don't worry if it's changing something here. Click the base color and click this button to unpack it. And this. And this. So go into your folder. And this is the base color, so rename it to T underscore desert eagle underscore and let me copy it real quick and we call it base color. Then this we call metallic roughness and this is the normal map. Oh, well what? Let's have a quick change. T underscore desert eagle underscore bullet underscore so it's a bit confusing but bullet underscore so now go into ma magazine zero zero one unpack everything again Here it is. Is it Eagle Magazine? And I've got base color. Magazine Metallic Roughness. And Magazine Normal. Then we have the main body. Anybody zero zero one. Unpack everything again. Body underscore base color. Body underscore oops metallic roughness. And the body underscore normal. And for the last, it will be slide zero zero one. Unpack everything. Does it eagle slide underscore base color? 
slight metallic roughness and slight normal so those are every this is these are our materials so go into unreal create a new folder in it call it textures and import those textures All right, all right, okay. Now let's quick rename the materials. So M underscore desert eagle underscore bullet. M underscore desert eagle underscore magazine. the body and the slide okay let's start with the body so grab your textures put it here put the RGB into base color from your base color texture then B from the metallic roughness Put the B into metallic and the G into roughness and the normal into normal. So let's save and wait a moment and let's have a quick watch. Oh, it looks nice. Looks pretty nice. So now the Desert Eagle bullet. Grab your bullet textures. The base into base color, the normal into normal, from the metallic roughness, B into metallic and G into roughness. Save everything. Then the magazine. Grab your magazine textures. The base color metallic and roughness in the normal and the slide so grab your textures import it put the colors normal and the metallic and the roughness save everything and wow it looks pretty good okay let's move it into our scene to watch it if it has the right scale let's have a quick watch I think it's a bit small but I'm not sure so save everything weapons and create a new blueprint folder in there and then new folder for weapons And in here a blueprint class, an actor, and call it BP underscore weapon underscore base. And open it up. And now create a new skeletal mesh. And rename it to base mesh. Let's select our base mesh. Add a static mesh and call it scope another static mesh under it called grip another called uh, for end and I think that's it for now so okay so let's right click the base class create a child blueprint class and call it bp weapon underscore desert 
eagle open it up and for the base mesh it will be our desert eagle okay <coughs> so uh, in the future we will add some weapon skins or scopes or th something so now we want to create our character and I wanted to make it with ALS if you don't know what ALS is ALS is the advanced locomotion system from the Unreal Engine Asset Store it is free and in the Asset Store it's only for single player so you can't do it with multiple clients and it's not a multiplayer in, uh, in the web, in GitHub, you can uh, download a version that is called uh, ALS Replicated. So I put the link in the description. Also, I put the link from the Desert Eagle in this description. And here's ALS Replicated. And we go into Content. And here's Advanced Locomotion uh, V4. So we go into our FPS tutorial, FPS tutorial content and put it here now we have the advanced locomotion system here but there's nothing in this folder so let's restart it and open it up okay so here's now advanced locomotion system blueprints character log logic and here is our anime so let's start and just select our game mode and put it into game mode of our map. So when we start, here's the advanced locomotion system. You can't do a anything, so you can't move or uh, move your mouse or something because we don't have the input for it. So go back into the advanced locomotion system, go to config and we need the default input so go into your project go to config and we have here default input so open it up and we really don't need those so I'm not sure but I will copy it and paste it here to have a little backup and put the default input and put it here and like this so let's restart it and i think this will work for us now so when we play we can uh move we can look around we can switch the animations pistol or something looks pretty good so but we want a first person so when you hold C you can switch to first person but um, we do it in another way so let's go to advanced locomotion blueprints character logic and just duplicate this class and we call it FPS underscore character BP and now let's move it in our first person blueprints folder so here it is and now we don't want the ALS camera so go to self uh, and search for tag scroll down and here's the tag ALS character just remove it and press enter so there's none and now we have to add a camera so I'm gonna add camera and attach it to the mesh and I'm a quick put a parent socket the FP camera on it and reset the location and now let's test it so grab your character and put it into the pawn class and start it so for now it's a bit weird because we are moving a bit weird Okay, so we have to enable the use pawn control rotation and save it. So now everything is fine. Ok, 
can look around, we can rotate. Okay. And now we're in first person. And we can also uh, do with the an ALS animations, but we want our self-made first person animations. So here's the Desert Eagle. And in the next part we will add those first person arms those to our character so in our class and animated with the desert eagle and yeah have some really good animations so i hope the tutorial will help you and see you in the next part i think i will upload it in a few days so bye bye